Viewers, subscribers, and awesome people of the internet, this is Fever Gaming here bringing you the top six accessories you must own or should at least consider getting for your PlayStation Vita experience. So this is the top six accessories in which I use on the day-to-day -day basis when I use the PlayStation Vita or accessories in which I use when I'm on the go. So sit back, relax, and let's do this, guys. At number six, we have the PlayStation Vita Cradle Slash Stand. This is essential for when you want to do some sort of recording with a good video camera you might own. It's a great way to also showcase the PlayStation Vita as opposed to having it laying down anywhere on the floor. The official Cradle actually allows to charge a PlayStation Vita while it looks majestic and all authentic. There's another stand on eBay which you can go ahead and find which is much more bigger and more designed for the original PlayStation Vita but again, it's a great way to show it off but also also, if you do plan on re recording some PlayStation Vita gameplay with your video camera. At number five, we have the PlayStation Vita hand grip. So there's a couple of them. You just have to kind of search through. I have a link in the description for all the accessories in which I use. And the hand grip is great for first-person shooter titles. So when you're playing Killzone Mercenary or Call of Duty Black Ops to Classified, having a grip, at least some form of a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 controller, enhances the experience of being able to, you know, play more comfortable and do better at the game, essentially because it actually has back triggers which you can go ahead and use it as if it were a PlayStation 4 controller. It also has a nice grip so when you're maybe sweating or that sort of thing or playing for a long distance of time you can at least be comfortable when shooting the bad guys or playing online multiplayer which is essential if you want to do pretty good online. At number four we have the PlayStation Vita screen protector. I can't emphasize how important it is to have one of these. I learned my lesson with the PSP, you know, which is funny because the PSP does not have a touch screen whatsoever, but I got so many scratches and smudges on it that later on did I end up investing on a screen protector which would have been essential when I have got the PlayStation Portable. Now with the PlayStation Vita, you do utilize the touch screen for maneuvering through the menus by playing some mini games or some PlayStation Vita titles do require you to use a PlayStation touchscreen would allow it to last even longer. Uh, prevent at least some of the big major scratches and smudges that could prevent from your gaming experience. At number three, we have a charger battery. Now this, again, is very important when you're on the go. So having your charger, for one thing, is essential to have. But at least having this battery charger, you can go ahead and charge your PlayStation Vita if you're on the airplane and need to need a quick charge, you're on the car and need a quick charge, you're in a submarine and need a quick charge. This is essential when you're playing for a long time. As opposed to having it, you know, where you have to find an outlet and have your charger and lay at a weird, weird angle. This is on the go, so you can go ahead and just plug it in. S similar for how you would plug your phone with one of those chargers on the go. Again, this is essential more than anything when you're on the go or playing the PlayStation Vita game for a very, very long playthrough. At number two, we have the PlayStation Vita case. And again, I can't emphasize how important it is to have one of these because you don't want to have your PlayStation Vita laying in the floor where it can be stepped on, have scratches, get smudges, that sort of thing. You want to also, with the case, be able to organize your games and your memory cards. I'm fortunate enough to have the official PlayStation Vita case that came when the PlayStation Vita was announced in North America. It was at the 3GA Special Edition bundle. And this one, I've been using it for such a long time, for three years actually, and it's heavy duty so a link in the description to the one that's similar to that one where you can also uh, store some of your games memory cards and also have the protection of your PlayStation Vita whenever you're on the go wherever you may end up being the number one accessory that every PlayStation Vita owner has to have to have the full experience of their PlayStation Vita games and the apps is having headphones at this point, you can go ahead and buy any headphones you might have. It can be the Sony ones, it can be the official PlayStation Vita ones, it can be the Beats, whatever it is, you must have headphones so you can experience the PlayStation Vita when playing any form of game. The way that you would want to compare it to is how would you rather listen to your music? By having some sort of headphones or earphones or playing it from your phone speakers. Obviously with the phone speakers, it doesn't really play all that well, but when you have those headphones, you can just really get into that music. You know, you can really get into the experience of the music on your phone. Same thing applies for the PlayStation Vita. By investing on, it could be $10 earphones, or it can be an official legitimate headphones, the official headset from PlayStation, whatever it is, really invest in some headphones, so that way you can take your gaming experience on the go. For instance, when I play Hotline Miami, it's a beautiful game, it has an awesome soundtrack, but do I really get invested in the game by having some earphones? By having the surround sound, you can really get immersed within the game, but also appreciate 
the soundtrack of the game. So guys, that's been my top six accessories you must own for your PlayStation Vita as a new owner or as a continuing owner. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe if this video helped, and check out those other PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4 games. Until the next one, guys.